you seen that America Needs a Mom video? When my son was young and he would behave inappropriately, I would bend down to his level, put my fingers around his little arm, look him right in his eyes and say very quietly, but very seriously, absolutely not. As he got older, I could do the same thing by calling his name, having him look at me and say the exact same words. He knew what I meant and he took it seriously because I took it seriously. One day we were at a restaurant and there was a kid that was a little bit older than him and he was just acting crazy. Like running all over the restaurant, banging into people's chairs, yelling, causing a major disturbance and the parents weren't doing a single thing. Now this wasn't a child on the spectrum or some you need to be a little bit more understanding of. This was just an out of control kid running amok. And my son, who was maybe four, looked at me and said, that mom really needs to tell that kid absolutely not. And I laughed because it was cute, but I also agreed with him because he was right. America is that out of control kid, privileged and entitled and acting a fool. And we need a tough mom to come in, grab us by the upper arm and say enough. America doesn't need a mom. We're grown ass adults. This is what we need. No half measures, no simpering smile, looking at the rest of the restaurant like, oh, sorry, what can you do? <laughs> um, you can take your child, sit them down and tell them how it's gonna be. But there is a lesson here. My son is now two and a half years old. We've always given him as much freedom as possible. Before he could even crawl, I would take him over to the stairs and manually move his legs and his arms, teaching him how to go up and down. I'd let him play with my real tools, a drill without a bit, a weed eater with the string removed. Instead of keeping freedom from him, instead of lording over him with a mean face, digging your fingers into his arms while you clench your jaw and speak in a stern tone. Instead of thinking the answer to unwanted behavior is just to take things away, maybe the answer is a little bit more freedom. Sure, that means added responsibility and work on your part, but that's your job, isn't it? Our son has been allowed to help me cook, clean, build things, work in the yard, learn the unfortunate danger of ants. I take him cycling. My wife takes him on real estate ventures and he loves the park. He knows most of his numbers, his ABCs. And we taught him how to say please, thank you, and even you're welcome. Okay, he often mixes up when to say that. He's an all around good, happy child who loves new things. I get it, you're doing what a mom does. And now I'm doing what a dad does. I'm stepping in to say no. America needs more freedom, and they need those who can demonstrate how to use it. America isn't an out-of-control kid. They're an apron-string kid whose mom keeps taking things away and wondering, why is he acting like that? If America needs anything, it's a liberty dad to say, hey, freedom is awesome. Time's dangerous, but let me show you how it works. We need to tell America we're going to eliminate the filibuster and pass sweeping voter protections. We need to stop Republican cheating in its tracks and this is how it's going to be. We're going to pass the American Jobs Plan and the American Family Plan and take care of our citizens and stop the corporate greed and wealth inequality from getting any worse. We're going to pass common sense gun laws because apparently America is incapable of regulating itself. We're going to investigate and lock up people who have broken the law. I don't care how many of them are rich or important or if it looks partisan because so many of them are from the same party. If they're criminals, they're criminals. This behavior stops now. So does the blatant lying on television and media. We are passing some laws to make disinformation and slander illegal again. This lying for profit to the detriment of the entire country could be handled with a truth and broadcasting law and a fairness doctrine for the new millennium. So that is what we're doing. Oh, your entire business model goes under with those laws? Well, that's too bad. Maybe you should have thought of that before you put your bottom line before the good of democracy. And finally, we're going to commit to some version of the Green New Deal. It makes no difference to me if you don't believe in climate change or gas companies are mad. The ocean caught on fire. Thousand year old redwood trees are dying of thirst. A town in Canada burned to the ground because it was too hot. We're on the wrong path and we get off here. I could go point by point offering a rebuttal on everything that you mentioned. Instead, in proper dad fashion, I'll be short on words, long on wisdom. America has added law after law. And the same people that want more laws, looking at you big two, also say, it's not getting any better. Why, there ought to be another law. Yeah, I understand it's uncomfortable. I understand you don't like it. I understand this is the way we've always done it, but it's not working. Despite shared control of government by the big two for longer than I've been alive, they keep saying that they need more authority? What? We don't get to burn it all down just because fire is cool. This is about something way bigger than your feelings, so I need you to sit down and eat your dinner. Sounds like that parent needs to self-reflect. Sounds like freedom is the answer. Sounds like people should seek a party that focuses on freedom. I'm Liberty Dad.